So good morning. Ito ako climbing up St. Paul Drive, and it's not an easy climb. Wow. So that's one steep climb. Kapunta Ortigas. So if you're coming from the east, like Pasig, Rizal, Marikina, laging mahirap. Mag Pumunta ng Ortigas na paakyat lahat ng daan. Ortigas Avenue, Julia Vargas, Lanuza up St. Paul Drive. So ito, paakyat na naman tayo kawit ng Meralco Avenue, Julia Vargas. Hinihingal ba? But then again, you know, I choose this any single day kesa mas stuck sa traffic. Oh my god, I know. This is different to the usual na route to Papa Sok. Because this morning, di mo na kapagot na office. Dahil, kapagot na ako ng LTO. Para kuni ng light driver's license ko. Friday on the way to Baguio and eh, I ako for over speeding along SCTEX. It's not new news anymore na strict sila dun. and which is good because at least they implement nila talaga yung Law, diba? So I'll be getting my uh, driver's license and then uh, go to BGC. So that's from Pasig to East Avenue and then back to uh, BGC. So the thing about traffic rules, road rules, etc., eh, we have enough. Idagdag mo pa dyan yung mga uh, regulations per city, per municipality, per town. Eh, talagang you know, we're bound by a number of uh, road rules. Kailangan lang eh, masundan siya. My internet. At mahuli. Katulad yun nangyari sa akin no Friday along with other uh, marami kami yun eh. Mga tatlo, apat. Sabay-sabay na huli. Kasi kung hindi ka naman mahuhuli, hindi ka rin magtatanda. Just look at this. A bike lane na Ito nga lang yung dadaanan mo. Eh, wala ka pang dadaanan. So that's Edsa bike lane for you. So, bakit ka naman magbabike dito? Di ba? Kung pwede ka magbike sa baba, mas mabilis pa. Like that other person is doing. So, may mga ganyan pa, oh. So, I had to go down from the sidewalk dahil daming obstruction. And, uh, this is uh, Serrano, Boni, Boni Serrano Avenue. And uh, 
as mentioned, I'm on my way to LTO East Avenue to get my license. Pagtutusin, hindi lang yung penalty ang binabayagan mo eh. Also your time. And yung generally yung hassle. Because it uh, keeps you off your routine pag nahuli ka. So, itong yung pagiging hassle nung pagpunta sa LTO is not a deterrent enough for committing violations. Eh, hindi ko na alam kung ano pa. Malapit na ako sa East Avenue where I will get my license. I still don't know kung saan ang bike parking nila doon. So I'll definitely ask. Sorry. Okay. This is my first time no, na makapag-bike. On this part of Edsa, just when I thought na okay yung bike lane, there is just a portion na pala of Edsa. It's not the whole stretch. Like for example, this one, wala namang bike lane to. So, no choice but to bike on the road. Okay, so bike lane along East Avenue. Okay, look at this. So I've asked uh, three security guards uh, is it pointing me to wherever. So in short, there's no designated bike parking. It's uh, LTO Istra. So finally, I got my license back, and uh, never again. So as mentioned earlier, going to LTO is not a deterrent. Then I don't know what is. Because aside from the penalty of 2,077 pesos eh ang hirap din naman pumila at maghintay although mabilis lang naman less than 30 minutes nakuha ko na yung license ko and particularly for bike commuters LTO East Avenue is nice, not bike friendly Friendly ang uh, security guards, sinayaan nila mag-park. Sinabit ko sa may isang jeep. Pero, the establishment, nada. Oh. And, we're back on EDSA. That's it for me today. Uh, stay tuned for another uh, episode in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Uh, it's uh, around nine thirty in the morning and this is how it is here uh, by green meadows uh, on the way to Julia Vargas thank god I'm biking <laughs> 